I bought 10 water filters with my my own money and went to Indonesia and started waves for water and on that trip I was caught in a 7.2 earthquake in Padang and um, the city was leveled and and I was effectively the first responder or one of them and um, just a life-altering experience there's no way you can go through something like that without it not changing your life and your pers and your perspective and everything I mean it, it uh, for obvious reasons you know you're going you're somewhere and you're acting on on the fly and you're trying to be as resourceful as you can and you're trying to get the job and tasks done but um, from a more emotional or spiritual level you're you're experiencing something that we're not necessarily designed to see or experience you know just the highest level of death and destruction really it all became real clear to me like, this is what I'm here to do this is what my path is and I realized that you know I was just one guy you know I didn't really and I, I didn't have a lot of money I didn't have I just had these real accessible and simple solutions on me and was able to make a huge impact and it started thinking like well what if everyone had these you know what why, why wouldn't why doesn't every single traveler in the world have a filter on them and then just offload it wherever they're going and uh, that was the starting of waste water I mean I became obsessed with it after that I became obsessed with the idea that there's still these that there's these solutions out there that exist not only do they exist but they're readily available and they're so effective and that there are still five-year-old kids all over the world dying from dirty water. It just didn't make sense to me. When Sandy hit, it was, the needs were gonna be different because we do have infrastructure. We, we are a developed country. We're not necessarily gonna need the same water filters I use in Indonesia, but it's a huge catastrophe. I mean, it's bigger than Katrina. It's big, it's the biggest thing we've had uh, in a long time, if not ever. I just decided to, step outside the box a little bit in terms of the organization and just do a full-fledged relief initiative to um, and really just leverage our organization you know it's timing wise it, it made sense you know I've spent the last four years growing this thing and building up that credibility in the field and I think it all came I mean this thing hit our backyard in a sense you know it hit these surf communities in uh, the Northeast. It hit. Uh, I have very close friends that lost everything, you know, and, and so it strikes a real personal chord. And and, and timing-wise, you know, Waves for Water is an established organization, you know, and and I felt like you know what I could be, I could really leverage the organization and be a vehicle for the entire surf community and um, and beyond to to funnel their support through and and focus their efforts in a more targeted way than like Red Cross, let's say, and really just be be that platform for people to be able to help, and that's really what we've been doing, you know, it's just um, what I, you know, we're doing everything from debris removal to distribution of supplies to, um, you know, we'll be doing rebuilds and stuff, so it's, it's a full-fledged effort, and I think... Um, it just makes sense. It's, it's not only does it make sense, it's the right thing to do.